Okay, here we have the finished sleeve. It's on a tea bar, under tea bar. We'll show you, tell you all the tools you need and the materials, and then how to make the sleeve and then put it on this tea bar. So two wise, you'll need a hammer, hollow punch, a pair of scissors, br wire brushes. Material wise, uh, we have sponge foam here, some old stuff I've found in the shed, however you can buy brand new stuff. Here are cable zip ties, a packet of them. Also here you have auto velour carpet. They use in the lining of cars, etc. Underneath, you notice it's not it hasn't got a rubber backing, but the top side's very coarse, similar to steel wool, but wears much better. So we first cut the velour carpet like this, two sides, to, and uh, this is the foam I cut. I'll just show you how the tea bale set in, like this. Just place then a uh, tea bale sit in like this and that's how the sleeve will go over. But first of all we have to roughen up the upside with a wire brush to break all the break all the uh, fibers up because they're sort of a bit loose and uh, it doesn't give you a very good scrubbing power set. So you get your wire brush and you just proceed in uh, uh, br brushing it until you break up all the fibers up. Just be very thorough and make sure it's nice and coarse. After you finish it should feel something like, like um, steel wool. Feel. And if it feels like that, it's been done properly. Now we'll show you how we punch the holes in the sleeve. Now we put the scrubbing bar there and start the holes. Just don't go any further to the edge than this from either end when you hit the holes. We'll punch the holes in the velour. I'll just speed it up a little bit. So here we're using a 7mm hollow punch to make all these holes. It's a little bit time to uh, quicken up like this uh, makes it a bit easier. So anyway, just about the last one, okay, so uh, here we have the material, you can see that the holes are just within the ends there. Now we have to punch the holes uh, where the cable ties go through, so we just line the T-bar like this, we get a 4mm hollow punch punch the holes and what we do here is we line it up like this right right there and you punch a hole through both sides just square it up just there and make sure you line it up give it a hit okay so you get the handle again and then mark on the other side, that way it doesn't slip sidewards. Line it up. Make sure everything's straight. Like this. And make sure it's a, about four mil away from the edge, maybe a little bit more. And then you proceed to go about an inch away from each end of the sleeve the same way like that and the other side 
per inch away from the end. And that's it. So now you're ready to put it on, put the phone down, line everything up, get the cable tied. It's a little bit fidgety, but uh, when you first put them on, just put the cable tie just a little bit loose on, something like this, and make, making sure the sponge phone is sort of lined up with your T-bar there. And you do this end, same way, it's, as I said, it's a little bit fidgety. I sped it up a little bit, so you're not waiting around too much, just loosely. And then you do the ends here, and you notice the material is sticking about a half inch away from the end of the scrubbing bar. Uh, this way you can scrub right into the corners without sort of damaging the ends. Put the last cable tie in here, making sure that that's under like that. And you put that, as I said, they're all loosely on. Now, okay. Now what you do is you tighten them all like this, just line them up tighten them up and you just get a scissors, get the scissors and just cut each end off like this and well I suppose that's about it.